There may be a new focus for the investigation into last month's fatal military helicopter crash. All six Canadian Forces members were killed when that cyclone chopper went down off the coast of Greece. The cause potentially could be in the onboard computers. Murray Brewster has been investigating. Almost all modern aircraft are run by computers. And that is at the root of new concern about the crash of the Cyclone helicopter which killed six members of the military. Defense experts and sources within the military's maritime helicopter community tell CBC News the flight control computers deserve particular attention in the investigation. The Cyclones have a triple backup system. If one computer goes down, there are two others to rely on. It's standard in what's called fly-by-wire technology. Multiple defense sources tell CBC News the cyclone which crashed was conducting a low-level, high-speed photo pass of HMCS Fredericton when its nose suddenly pitched forward. The aircraft plowed into the ocean seconds later. There was no warning, no distress call. And that leads us to a 2017 incident in Nova Scotia, which took place as the helicopter was being introduced into the Air Force. It's a matter of public record that a software problem grounded the Cyclones for nine weeks. Defense sources tell CBC News that the glitch led to all three flight control computers shutting down and resetting. The pilot in that case managed to recover in time. The software was updated by the manufacturer, but sources say after ruling out pilot error in the Ionian Sea crash, the next stop for investigators should be the flight control computers and software. The Defense Department says the investigation is still ongoing and it's not going to speculate on the cause of the crash. The wreckage is in deep water and the federal government is still organizing a salvage effort. Murray Brewster, CBC News, Ottawa.